us. This is your art teacher. And we are going to um, continue with this project right here. Um, so um, this is just a quick overview of what your final product might look, might look like with our um, snowflakes in the, um, in the sky up here falling down. Yes, they're abnormally big snowflakes. Um, and then down here we have, whoop, there we go. Um, then down here we have the outline of um, the little town, the little houses that we made. And um, I've chosen my background paper, which we will do as well. Let me zoom this out just a little bit so you guys can see more. And let's see, there we go. Okay, so for today, um, if you already have your um, colored background paper or your painted background paper, this is an example of one that I'm kind of painted on a little bit with our paint sticks. And then um, I decided, you know, those little paint sticks, although they're fun to use, don't give us as much coverage. So um, we finished with this with um, a Crayola washable paint. So you should have your um, washable paint all the way down to the bottom, okay? And then um, this right here should be cut out. Okay, your table leader is going to give you this material. They're gonna give you your background. Um, they're also going to pass out your remaining snowflakes, okay? So any snowflakes that you have um, that you made, your, your table leader is gonna give you that, okay? If you happen to have a cover sheet, the art mat that we, um, that we covered up the table with, the art mat that we stuck underneath our painting paper, just set that in a pile in the middle of your table, okay? So we have this right here, this piece of paper, and I've got some examples right here. They're not finished. If you did not get yours finished, let's go ahead and cut that out. Um, sometimes what I will do to help me cut, I will go in with my angles like this, and my angles like this, kind of cut it out in segments, and sometimes that's a lot easier than having to cut through each and every section. I'm cutting it out in segments like that, so cut the silhouette out. Um, the silhouette is like the outline, okay, the outline, the outline of the buildings. Um, and we can always go back in, for some reason, if you were sick, you weren't here, you were absent, we can always go back in and use our thin line permanent markers to outline our building so that we have that nice black and white contrast. The black outline with the, um, the white piece of paper. Okay, so if you didn't get that cut, do that. Okay, so for the gluing part, um, and if you have a little bit of extra hanging off the edge, totally fine. For the gluing part, what you're gonna do is you're going to um, turn this paper over. Okay, turn this paper over. You're gonna put just a dot, not a lot. Um, typically, I say um, nine, so you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So just a dot, not a lot. And sometimes my dot kinda makes a little stringy line there. Then we're gonna turn it over. Okay, turn this over, and I'm gonna line this up, line it up with the bottom. Let me get this out of the way so you guys can see better. We're gonna line it up with the bottom, right down there. There's my timer that says it is time to go, so I gotta hurry. And we're gonna turn it over. We're gonna use these little plastic cards. I have these plastic cards at your table. Each table group has a set, and they are in a container that looks kind of like this. I just dropped those in there. These are just um, repurposed. They used to be gift cards cut in fourths. We use these for clay. We use these for a variety of things. On the back, you're gonna smooth that out. Okay, smooth that out. I'm gonna go turn off that timer real quick. On the front, with your snowflakes. Okay, so I have a couple other snowflakes that I'm gonna finish up, and I'm gonna glue that on there, okay? So for this, just a, just a dot, not a lot, and um, I have only a, I have only a few um, more snowflake examples left, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. So, 
I'm going to add a little bit of glue on there. Okay, if you put too much glue on here, if you put too much glue on here, it's going to ooze out everywhere. So I'm going to put just a dot. I'm going to hold it into my fingers. Just put a little line. Make sure that your the orange part of your glue is touching your piece of paper. And so you just have just a dot. And I'm just kind of just kind of scattering that around everywhere. Okay. Then you're going to set this on top of your piece of paper. Okay. I still gotta cut that part right there. Um, so you're gonna set this on top of um, the sky. Let me move to this other example over here. Move to this other example over here. And let me set this down right here. Okay, I'm going to set that down. Then I'm going to take my glue, uh, my scraper right here, my little plastic card. I'm going to take my little plastic card right here. And I'm going to spread that out okay if I have a teeny tiny edge that might need to uh, be glued down I'm gonna put a tiny dot there should not be glue oozing out okay there should not be glue oozing out so I'm gonna rub 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 and I'm gonna scrape this around okay like that that's gonna spread out my glue okay now on the back if I on the back for a larger part like this one right here on the back what I would do is I would put my glue on there and then I'm going to turn it over to the back side and I'm going to spread 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 this is going to help the glue to get spread out on the back okay and then um, also it's going to um, sorry I was distracted um, also it's going to um, help the glue to dry just a little bit faster Okay, so if you have a little extra piece like this left over, okay, before we make the um, very back side, okay, before we make the back side, um, I'm going to cut this off right here just a little bit. And then um, if you have a whole bunch of extra, like if your paper's curled right here, you can always kind of help to um, curl it back the other way, like that. And then um, sorry, I'm asking my students to get off the table here. And then um, we're going to line this up with our background paper um, to make a nice neat border. So what I'll do with my students is I will, um, the first piece of paper, this one right here, um, I will um, trim it so that it is eight, 8 inches by 11 inches. And um, then this background is going to be 9 by 12. Okay, so this one is... Um, 8 by 11 and then this one's 9 by 12 and that gives us an inch border okay um, so what sometimes what I'll do is if we don't have enough time for my students to glue the background back I will go ahead and have them choose the background color that they want so I have like a couple different colors for them to choose from okay something that matches our artwork and then um, I'll put my nine dots of glue one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just a dot, not a lot. Okay, just a dot, not a lot. Then I'm going to flip it over. Okay, now I don't want to do too much scraping on the cover of my artwork. I mean, I'm sorry, on the front of my artwork. I'm sorry, I'm asking some of my students to get off the table here while I finish this demonstration. Um, and I'm going to double check my edges and my corners. What I like to do is I look, like to turn it and I like to look at this corner. Make sure that there's an inch here and an inch here. I'm sorry, half an inch. A half an inch here, half an inch there. And I just kind of eyeball it. I don't actually measure it. A half an inch here and a half an inch there. Okay, a half an inch over here and a half an inch over here. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over. Okay, flip it over, and I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the back. Smooth out the back right here. Smooth out the back. Smooth out the back. Smooth out the back. Okay, smooth out the back. Smooth out the back. Stop! 
Then it should be nice and straight, okay? And then it'll be ready to frame. So this will fit easily into a nine inch by 12 inch frame, framed artwork, okay? Um, if you have five snowflakes, just go ahead and fit your other snowflakes in there. And then um, if you made any additional snowflakes, I'm gonna let you guys take those home, okay? Um, thank you guys for being such good listeners and um, good luck on your project. Make sure that you follow all these instructions. If you need to watch it again, just push rewind. Bye guys.